Hello, welcome back to Family Adventures. Um, bit of a weird video this one. It's uh, a bit sad, and we've basically come to the decision we are now selling the motorhome. Um, basically, the kids are now grown up. Ellie's twenty this year, and we just don't need a motorhome with bunk beds in the back anymore. So in this video, I'm going to be sort of mainly taking out the lithium batteries and the inverter because i never filmed that going in but we are thinking about continuing filming and we will have another motorhome one day and um, we definitely will consider the benimar because it is it's a brilliant motorhome as far as leisure vehicles we've had over the last 15 years build quality and reliability it's definitely been up there with the best um but yeah, we just don't need the bunk beds. Um, we're moving on to different projects now. For the time being, um, we've brought a sailboat. So there's gonna be a lot of work in that. Uh, I'll probably put all the lithium in there from the motorhome. And we'll have to see whether or not we film that, if that's gonna be interesting to some people. And, you know, putting all solar and everything on it. So it's exciting for the future. Just a bit sad. We are upset to get rid of the motorhome. It's been, you know, a part of our life now for 15 years and all of Harriet's life. But I think we're ready for a change. So, right, let's get these batteries taken out. So as previously, we undo the bolt from the seat belt, and then there's four, four Torx nuts which are located. Uh, two at the front of the seat, two at the back of the seat. I'll apologise for the road noise, but I'm on the driveway at home. So we'll undo the five there, then the seat simply lifts out. Right, so I've removed all the bolts from the seats, uh, four on each, plus the two seat belt bolts. Uh, just got to remove the seats now, they do lift out, but they are bloody heavy and cumbersome to get through the doors. So get them out, and I'll show you what I've done with the batteries. Right guys, so what we've got here is two lithium batteries from um, EcoTree, which is Oak Tree Motorhomes, uh, just near IKEA at Eastwood. Um, so we've got two 110 amp hour batteries um, in a row. Then we've got the Victron Smart Shunt, that is, so it all connects up to your phone and you can see exact levels. Uh, and then moving from there, I've installed a remote switch for the inverter, which is mounted behind there. So we can just remotely turn the inverter on and off to power everything up. Quite a simple setup. Um, nothing too difficult. If you, you know, as long as you're confident with it, that's the only thing. I'm not an expert myself. I'm not doing this as a tutorial. But if you know, if you're pretty confident with some basic electrics, then putting them in isn't too much of a hard job. And then on this side, we have got the vehicle battery, the starter battery, and then I've got a Victron DC to DC charger, 30 amp. Um, pretty straightforward to run the cables through. There's already a channel that comes up to connect them up to the batteries. The only thing I did with the Victron. I don't know if you can see down there, I cut away the floor in a bit um, just so I could mount it directly to the bodywork because it gets really hot. Um, but yeah, I can't fault the system, it's been brilliant. Right, let's get these removed and then I'm going to have to go and buy a battery uh, just to put back in there because I'm not giving away lithium with the motorhome. Right. One quick thing to note. Whilst working on the electrics, I didn't put this in the first video, I don't know why I didn't, but I disconnect the uh, solar panels from the battery so there's no voltage going in and there's no way it's going to trip out the uh, solar panel. Uh, that that lid just, just literally pops off. Right guys, the two batteries are out now. Um, there are your two cables that are running over to the driver's seat where the 
battery to battery chargers which have already disconnected there disconnected the battery the live at the moment so just got to pull them back through I'll tell you what I wish it was this quick putting it all in it took a lot lot longer right that is the vehicle battery all put back in just needs the cover going back on which is over there seat back on I've got the battery holder ready for the new leisure battery that I'm gonna to have to go and buy however I'd rather buy a battery than give away the lithium ones and I'm now left with well a pile of cables and a mess to sort out right it's worth just to note that the charging unit on the motorhome I'm slacking the screws off it's um, not connected to the mains at all yeah so don't obviously be removing the cover if you're on electric hook up and then what we're gonna have to do is a little micro switch just there and I need to push it back up to set it back to AMG batteries it was on B for lithium battery cover charger unit is all back on all the vent pipes are all connected back up to how it was originally so the work under there is now done well guys my work here is about done it's just tidying up emptying the rest of the stuff out but the only other thing I've got left to do is change the stereo head unit back to the original one um, so yeah after 15 years over having sort of motorhomes, caravans, let's see how long it is before we get the next one. Um, life's going to be a little bit different. Like I say, we've got the boat. I'd be interested if anybody on this channel is going to be interested in watching anything about a sailing boat as we learn to sail and you know do it up to how we want it. But thanks for watching and yeah, hope you've kind of enjoyed the channel and uh, some of the content we've done now I've got the cheap battery in there from uh, go outdoors so that's fine the motorhome is about ready to sell um, I think we're gonna just sell it to a dealer to cut out the hassle but right guys thanks for watching again and then we'll probably see you again Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all Too many things going on I can't Keep track of them all From people dropping a bomb To people putting up walls I feel like life is on call Perception stuck in a vault I know that time can heal all But how much time till we fall? It's awfully chilly outside When there's no shelter to hide When everything is a lie You'll find that out in some time But when the things on your mind Are all considered a crime Communication aside We'll all just fight till we die Is this an argument? Or just the start of it? Either way I don't wanna be a part